But yeah, man, I'm here to talk about Isaiah Thomas and all the smoke. They had their old tricks again. Now, I wonder the plausible deniability that Matt and all these guys gonna have now when, and then Steven Jackson, oh, poor Jack, poor Captain Jack, he so got dang on high, he can't remember a motherfucking thing somebody done did for him. How does Steven Jackson, a guy that was about to be, Isaiah Thomas said he was already gone, packaged, shipped, delivered, out of the league. And you're better friends and you're so close to a guy that just called the guy that got you back in the league? He said, yeah, I respect Al, you know, because he called you. Excuse me, come again. You respect Al, because Al, you say Al saved you. Isaiah Thomas had to say, no, 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 no. Isaiah saved you. He just reached out and made a call to somebody that could actually get David Stern on the phone with enough respect that could get you back in the lead. And you that guy high, you didn't even know that? So that's what I was telling y'all about from the beginning. They have a bad boys club that they like to pick out certain males and they and they get them on these podcasts and they ask questions about these men. I'm starting to think white folks be wanting to lower the statue of a man, the status of a man. Cause I just saw Isaiah Thomas arguing with Max Kellerman and all he was saying was, why you got me up here looking like I'm in the, you know, got me looking like I'm this mean mugging guy. He asked the right question. He said, bro, I'm just, that's not me. You know that. Just change the picture real quick. But the whole world want to joke with a black man. The whole world think when a black man speak to you in a nice way, you get to antagonize him because, you know, who give a fuck about a black man? You know, there's no black boy magic. There's no coalition of black men that get together and do anything. So yeah, they just keep kicking us up there. Another show, now Isaiah Thomas is a legend. Far better than the two high guys that's on the show talking about basketball. Had a way better career than both of them clowns. But that, that, but Jack can sit up there just like he did before. It's just like, what the hell is so funny? But I forgot, you high dog. So you disrespect a man's legacy about being somebody's friend. You think that's what Isaiah Thomas care about? Being his friend? Isaiah Thomas is talking about respect, something you niggas don't know nothing about. The only respect you niggas wanna keep talking about is street cred and street respect. Hanging in a group with a bunch of niggas. Isaiah Thomas is a man's man that saved you. To have enough clout, that's real clout. Clout is that you can get David Stern on the phone and get a nigga to change his mind on the decision that he already made. That's clout. What you niggas do is leech off of other niggas. That ain't no clout in that. I want friends like Isaiah Thomas, in case something go wrong, he got enough clout in this world that white folks will listen to him or whoever got a position of power gonna listen to him. That's real clout. Y'all wanna disrespect the real men just to be buddy buddies with some damn body. And who did they go and get again to talk about him? Who did they go get again? Charles Oakley. And now Charles Oakley make the world laugh at Isaiah Thomas. I just don't understand why we keep doing that. I don't get it. I don't understand it. That's why I be by myself. This shit is weird. These niggas wanna be ticking me Elmo's or something. I don't get that. Grown ass men playing all the time. <laughs> when somebody say something back to y'all this nigga jack want to make everybody he want to laugh at everybody else and then i make two three jokes about his little uh cry baby soft ass he want to tell his friends to play with me in traffic this shit don't make no sense y'all nigga want to play with everybody and when somebody say something back y'all get mad it don't make no sense y'all niggas ain't above nobody y'all ain't above the law y'all ain't above nobody that's why i get personal with you niggas because i know you niggas in real life that's why I get personal with you, nigga. It's personal when you talking about somebody real life like that. Isaiah Thomas' life work is the game. He's changed, he's done more for the game. The private planes, the, the player relationship work that he's done, the, working directly with David Stern, somebody that is hard as hell to work with, God rest his soul, but he wasn't no that damn pushover. 
So you got a real black man that's fighting for real rights for black players, and he paved the way for us to be as comfortable as we are, or was, I was, and they are, in the NBA, and you come and make a joke about that man? The nigga saved your ass the way you can get contract out the contract. If you able to feed your the butter your jokes, damn shame. I used to think you were real though. I forgot. The only thing you think is real is being with a group of dudes and getting violent against black people. That's the only thing real. I forgot. Yeah, real nigga shit, nigga. I'm in, I'm in old block. Shit, nigga. This the real nigga. We the real. That's all you know. We the real. But when somebody help your ass in real life, you ain't called none of them niggas that you went to old block with talking about we the real. You had to go call a man that got clout and respect in this world. And now you want to disrespect that very same man. You niggas are ashamed. That's all they hire you guys for. You know that, right? That's why y'all so mad at me. I said that from day one. That's the only reason why they hire you niggas. Just look at the whole group of you. A bunch of violent, failed motherfuckers. Most of you. Jack would have been out the league if it wasn't for Isaiah Thomas. Matt Barnes done jumped over Gates, angry look. Just spit on somebody uh, last year or whatever ago. He just tried to spit at a dude, spit on his damn face. Look at these little angry little This other idiot, you already know about this buffoon. The first idiot to bring guns in the locker room. Look at who they hired. They're not hiring them for their talent. They hiring them because they know they're going to say stupid ass about the very same black people they want to bring down. They lift these guys up, put them on platform to get high, fall asleep and talk about a man like Isaiah Thomas, that the way, the reason why we went through the league so comfortable is because of Isaiah Thomas. One of the reasons is Isaiah Thomas. But that's how we do him. Y'all niggas weird, man. Y'all niggas weird as hell, man. Yeah, they give y'all money so y'all can run around here on niggas. Yeah, nigga, we got money, nigga. Your life dirt, nigga. Your life ain't nothing, nigga. I got money. I'm doing what these white people tell me to do. Isaiah Thomas. Ha 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 Michael Jordan don't want to be your friend. Like, he don't give a about that. Just respect that man. Y'all weird though. Y'all think y'all something special, don't you?